Hey, Don here. Okay, looks like we got audio. We're doing uh, desktop recording with simple screen recorder. And, uh, yep, resources look good. File that we're making. And what I want to do is work on OBS Studio, my favorite uh, <laughs> screen, uh, streamer, recorder, everything. But it's on the blank here. I've been trying to fix it for over a week now. It records just fine, and the signal you see down there is off my lapel mic. And actually, the uh, DSM-58 can work there too. When it's, but this is just preview mode. It's not recording. I think if I was recording, if I started recording, because I've tried this kind of thing before with uh, like two different desktop recorders. Uh, okay, so there's my signal. Now I'll turn on the mic. So you got both mics going. Now the the lapel's not going into, uh, well, you can only select one input over here, so it's not going in there. It's not like OBS where you can select more than one input. But uh, the sound is coming from the SM58 on the line input, and then the, the uh, mic, aux lapel mic, is going through the uh, USB sound card uh, into OBS. Okay, so, but that's fine. You know, that's not what I'm working on. Every time I hit start stream, it crashes. So, yeah, I'm going to show that for, and I've always, you know, just like did screenshots and everything. So, uh, let's say this is how I would start stream with my beginning uh, titles with no sound, and it will crash. Oh, yeah, I put that on there so that, because sometimes I forget, I'm so used to hitting start stream. I said, I don't didn't normally have it set to do that. Uh, ask me, do I really want to start the stream? But I've been crashing it on accident when I was trying to restore recording. So I'm going to say yes this time. Now it'll take a minute, and then it's probably going to crash. Unless <laughs> for some crazy reason it worked. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I still have my audio properties open from when I was... I had the, I had the uh, USB unplugged, and then <clears throat> I forgot to... Uh, USB sound card. And then I... Opened OBS Studio and forgot to plug it in first, and so then it wouldn't, uh, you know, couldn't pick it up. You usually have to have what your your source is pl uh, on and running before you open up OBS. So you can get by with opening up, turning on a camera stream after it's already running, and then if you switch scenes like back and forth, so sometimes it'll come up, sometimes it won't. But uh, that's the uh, SM58 on the line input. And that is the mic, the lapel mic on the USB. But, uh, let's see, yeah, settings are still the same as they were. Okay, so I'm going to close that. I was, so anyway, I had to unplug it and try it a couple of times to get it to work. So, okay, now finally, OBS comes up with that message saying it crashed. But, uh, usually I go, whoops, usually I go right over here to make sure it's shut down. I've never caught it I'm still running. When it crashes, it's gone. And uh, let's see if this still looks like it's working. Okay, well, I can always look at my preview, yeah. I don't want to leave the preview running. That's just more work for the machine. But, yeah, 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. Doing pretty good. Okay, so let's go back and open up OBS. I guess I'll have to keep checking on my... On my uh, I'm going to say live stream. I have to keep checking on my video that I'm making to make sure that it works. That it's not messed up whenever I do things with OBS. Because they could conflict with each other and one of them might crash or stop working. Or, But I'm not going to start a string. Well, I, I just I knew it wouldn't start a string. Uh, and I'm not going to start a recording. Um, at least not right now. I may try that later. What I'm going to do is, okay, now here's my scenes. And, uh, well, I hope that's not causing an echo. Oh, I'm not getting desktop audio on this one. It wouldn't wouldn't get it, I don't think. You know what? Just to be sure it's not causing an echo, it's, well, that wouldn't make any difference, I don't think. No, either it works or it don't. Oh, let's see. When I did my test, did I have that? Yeah, when I did my test, I already had this on, and it didn't cause any trouble. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on because... If I when and if I do decide to start uh, recording in OBS, I want sound. You know, <clears throat> I just got through eating and 
I don't know why in the world, but my throat is so dry. <clears throat> I guess I better. I don't see why what I ate would make my throat dry. And I haven't been talking, you know, while I was eating. I took my good time eating and watching some videos while I ate. And so my throat should be a little more recovered. I'm going to give me a cough drop. And get to where I can't talk. So that's what that noise you'll be hearing is me with a cough drop hitting my teeth. Okay, so um, I have started. I had started adding audio uh, from Cam 1 to the desktop, which streams over the Wi-Fi from the camera. Instead of being a video stream, it's an audio stream. And uh, that's not the audio. This is the lapel mic. Normally they're plugged into one of the cameras, one of the phones. Sorry, my back started itching so bad I had to do something about it. Okay, normally that's where my lapel would be. It's plugged into phone, you know, one of the phones, but uh, I'm not doing that because I didn't want to lose camera one. You know, camera three's battery went bad, and that's where I, what I always used to stream the audio. So I got to thinking, well, why don't I try plugging it in directly into the computer? So I did, and so I got that. It took a long time to get all set up, uh, like all day yesterday and part of today, but it's all set up. Uh, it's not what you're hearing right now, but it's working. So it, right now you can see camera one and camera two just in the previews. And uh, SM58 is muted. And uh, anyway, um, um, I got to thinking, you know, I saw in the, air, in the crash messages that... Um, Let me just, I think I can show it because I see that there's a, no, I think that's a, well, let's look and see what it is. Is that a crash or an SC Linux alert? Well, that's an SC Linux alert. If I click on it, it'll bring it up. I'll just go ahead and do it anyway. Now, that's not a crash report. That's an SC Linux alert. Type too long. I don't know why. I thought that was a good idea. But yeah, the uh, OBS is up there, and the red one that looks kind of like Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey is uh, um, Simple Screen Recorder. They call it SSR, not to be confused with USSR. Okay, I just can't quit thinking of that every time I see it. Yeah, the same one. This is a SE Linux alert. It, uh, Touch attempt this access uh, th attempted this access DAC override on this capability. It it didn't allow it. It's been going on for quite a while. Ever since I installed, I figured out what it was. It's a particular app. It's a log read log reader or something application. I think it's supposed to read them and then give you a synopsis of them or something. And anyway, it's never been able to run because it gets stopped by that. And I've never wanted to mess with it because I have too many other things going on. Yeah, okay, so I'm... Oh, here's where I can sh show that, I think. So we'll go to the documents, because I'm pretty sure I saved some of that. <clears throat> I don't know if I saved it in OBS info. No, I guess I didn't save it in there. I must have saved it in Fedora 28 info. Unless I got confused and saved it in Fedora 29. I've been working on that Fedora 29 server and I've just been going there to save everything. Today I realized, oh, I need to think which operating system am I actually on here? I'm on 28. Yeah, I'm... I don't think I have a... Oh, I think I did save some screenshots, but boy, no telling where, how far back they are. That's been a few days. 
see if it's in the Fedora 29 server, but I don't think so. Now, I don't think I did mess up and put anything in there. Okay, well, that was a... I put it on the screenshots because it's usually I usually like to show them in the videos, but there's so, so many days back, I, I'm not going to go through all those. So anyway, it, what it was is in the crash re log. Well, I guess I could... You know, the logs are so full of stuff, it's just too hard to find anything or I'd look in there. But in the crash log, down at the very bottom of it, it said something about something looking for something audio. It wasn't there. And so I thought, but I know my audio, my mics are working. And finally, I think once or twice I thought of it. Well, that's my, oh, you don't hear that anyway. Finally, I got to thinking, well, this is audio. And I thought, what if it, because when you go to add, let's say we were going to add uh, something to this scene. Let's say we decided to add, uh, we wanted to add a VLC. Uh, audio source. Well, there's only one, it's a video. The only thing way you can add anything a VLC stream is is right here where it says VLC video, and uh, you can see the ones I have. But they all say video, um, well, except for those. They say audio, right? And uh, the only the way you turn it into an audio stream is well, I mean, it has to be an audio stream in the first place what you do that in IP webcam on your phone but then instead of it being the IP address you, you know the IP address port 8080 and then forward slash video it is the IP address port 8080 and forward slash wave uh, audio dot wave I, could sh I can't show that right here but I can show it by oh uh, I can just hit the you can just hit the uh, gears or you can right click there it is right there that's what it looks like and I got to thinking, well, what if something's gone wrong with that? And I don't think so, but uh, I've already saved these uh, scene collections. Now, I can show you now I'm not recording, so I can show you the profiles. Okay, here's my profiles, and uh, this is the one I'm, I'm using right now, the newest one I made. That's one of the older ones, and uh, this one has the most recent settings and everything I've done. Um, and you can import and you can export so what I've done you know is I, ex I export I just did it earlier today so I won't actually do it again I have a folder I've made for it each time I export a profile I go ahead and make a new folder because see I did it uh, 28th see well that was yesterday but it was you know, about several hours. Well, it's 4, 4.32 a.m., so it was about five or six hours ago. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see the time there. So so it makes its own folder, but I'll go ahead and separate them because uh, one time I, I put them in, I tried to put them in the same folder. I thought it would override it, and it uh, doesn't have anything but that in there. Well, I think that's just all you're seeing. Yeah, that's all you're seeing. And uh, anyway, it ended up with two it, in two profiles in the same. It, you, when you imported, so I'm going to cancel it because I'm not actually going to export it because I don't need to. And so when you import, you you know you go to your folder, and uh, you would go there. Now, if I were to import that. Uh, if I had a saved it in that same folder and then I imported, I would end up with two. I would end up. I had it. I had the same. I had two of the same name, and they were both checked, and you could only check one of them. So it had doubled it up somehow. It was really weird how that worked, and it didn't seem to change the functionality, but it was just weird and confusing because normally you can do this and change to the other profiles. So I got I got rid of that one and I deleted it out of here. You can also you know you can duplicate them. You could. I've done that before. Uh, well, one time I duplicated the one I had, and then I changed one thing in it. I changed it from a primary stream to a backup stream. And see, I'm always talking about that. Let's see if I can show that. Okay, 
maybe it's right here. Okay, there it is. The server you want to stream to, the primary YouTube ingest server. That's the normal way, you know, you're just doing a stream. But you can also have a backup stream, and that would be setting it like that. The backup YouTube ingest server. Now, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to mess all that up, so I'm going to hit cancel and get out. The backup server. Let me go look again. Oh. The backup server. Uh, the backup server is uh, what you can do is you have your primary s s stream. Uh, let's see, how do you do it? I can't remember. Let's see. You have to start one f before the other. It kind of makes sense to me that you would start the primary stream and then start the backup stream, but it may be the other way around. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Start the primary stream and then start your backup stream. And if your stream goes down or you... Like what I did is I wanted to stream from this computer, and then when I got ready, I wanted to stream from Mom's computer to show what I was doing on it. So I, I, I got this one going, and then when I was ready to switch, I just stopped this one, automatically picked up the other machine, um, you know, without a glitch, you know, without any in the stream. It was just I, I, told, I said that I was going to do it, but, you know, no glitch or anything. So, uh, because it's already streaming up there and it's just ready to be switched over to. But it can be a, a backup, you know, like if something goes wrong with this one, the other one will take over. So, it's uh, pretty handy. Um, so, I've been talking about that a lot. And anyway, that's all of my, uh, and I've showed those before, but uh, something very odd happened that I didn't expect. Almost all of these backups that I made, they were they were the same. They ended up having the same. Uh, I think really what it was is there were different slight. You know, I changed. I didn't change the settings very much, and it's not. It's kind of really kind of confusing to figure it out because where you where all most of your changes are done in the scenes, and that's. But some of the settings get saved in the scene collections, and some of them are saved in these profiles. So the scene collections, and by the way, when you say when you export a scene, scene, see that one doesn't have an extension, and then and I didn't know, you know, so I just kept exporting them, letting them be the default name, and I tried to import one and I could, it wouldn't show up, and I'll, I'll show you that right now. And but they have to be named uh, J, J, Jason, J S O N. So a uh, scene collection. Let's say I wanted to import one. Um, Now, I have a number 8, but you don't see a number 8. You see a number 7 is the newest, you know, the one you see. The, the, the number 8 is just not showing up. <clears throat> and that's because I actually forgot to add the. You have to manually add the file extension. The way I figured out what file extension it should be is right down there. And, you know, I knew that, well, if I don't see anything, then go. I already knew, you know, you just know that. I just know that from working with computers for so many years. But sometimes there's more than one choice. <coughs> well, this is only one choice here. <coughs> so I <coughs> said, so, okay, maybe I need to give those files that file extension. So I tried it, and that's what worked. So um, I'll just do that. Dot JSON. I call it Jason. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that's the last one I exported, so I don't need to actually import it, but I just I'll just show it. That's the one I'm on right here. I believe it'll let you do it, and it'll like give it. It'll go. It'll yeah, it will, and it'll call it eight two. It'll put a two outside of it. Um, see, there's number eight now. So that's what you need. That's what. Uh, the scene collection, but the scene collections, uh, and I still got a bunch in here that I, I don't, I'm not going to end up needing. Uh, but uh, see, but see now all my settings, uh, I made sure after I got done with my most recent changes, but like I thought it was just the scenes, but it's not. A bunch of your settings from over here are in the scene collection too. So I don't know what's what. Uh, so I just backed up both of them. 
question because what I'm ma well, first I'm going to try deleting all these audios because just in case that message in the log where it crashed, that's the only other audio. This audios are working. There's, there's nothing wrong with those, and they work in the recording. Of course, everything works in the recording. I haven't found anything not working in recording. It's just that it crashes when you stream. Um, but I'm going to take these out just to see because I can get them back by importing my profile and my scene collection. <clears throat> so uh, all you do to take them out. So this this one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. I only put it in like three places I think so far. I was going to do it. I was doing them manually one at a time. And I guess I could show. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. And maybe I'll show the difference in the things I've been talking about. So, uh, just hit the minus there and you can take it out. Do you want to remove audio cam one to desktop? Okay, it's gone. I never did put it in the camera one. Never did put it in <clears throat> camera two or one and two. But I did put it in cam one and two. I mean, cam one and desktop. And so there it is, audio cam one to desktop. So I'm going to get rid of it out of there. And I put it in there. I was getting ready to do it to all of my scenes. And then I decided to try using a lapel. That way I wouldn't lose that camera. And so I quit working on that. I see. You've got to be careful because that's a video feed. You don't want to lose that. I mean, I don't want to take that out. Let's look through them again. And I didn't put them in my titles because I don't want to talk over my titles. And I just went with the uh, SM58. I was just trying to be quiet and not talk over it. But, um, well, <clears throat> because, see, it, but now I've got the mute button, so I can mute it. But right now you can see the signal on the... Uh, Mike Ox 2, which is the uh, lapel going straight to the computer. I can mute that too, you know. So what I usually, but I'm also afraid I'll forget to turn on the audio. So I usually don't, whatever mic I'm going to talk on, I usually don't mute it unless I start to cough or something. <clears throat> but I can have them both muted while that's turning them both on. But, uh, and of course, that's not doing anything to my sound right now because I'm not recording with OBS. But uh, the endoscope, I never did get to it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and uh, trying to make sure I get this right. Or the way I'm trying to do it, not necessarily right, but. Okay. I'm looking over the mixer in the middle for any of. See, now the odd thing is, is the. Uh, the video streams show up in the audio. This is supposed to be the audio mixer, but those video streams show up in, in there too. I hadn't thought about that much, but they do. That's the only other thing that shows up in there. That'd be something if that's what the problem is. Why do those show up in there? Hmm. Now there's another thought. But I mean that never caused any trouble before. But some update to OBS could have uh, caused that, you know, cause it to start crashing. Like, but it's, again, it records perfectly, no problems. It cr crashes on the stream. And the one thing, the only other clue I have, and I, but I don't. It was all on Windows machines and people running Windows. It was to do with their video drivers and stuff. But um, my video drivers haven't changed, and I'm not using proprietary drivers. I'm just using the open source driver for Fedora 28 and uh, and whatever my I forgot what right now I don't remember what my video chip is it's an onboard video <clears throat> but uh, the only thing I had changed was the mic uh, I used to all my you know all my audio inputs for the uh, that are like the ones I just deleted were on phone 3 I deleted all them <clears throat> and started putting in I was going to do them all on phone too and after I did that <clears throat> that's when it started crashing on stream now, I don't know if it was a coincidence or um, I can't
and talk and look at the same time. I don't know if it was a coincidence or a, uh, that's what caused it. I keep thinking I've exhausted the, you know, that it might have been what caused it. And then I think, well, wait a minute, I did this and I did that. So that's something new. I really haven't gotten it back to the way it was. I can't, I tried to put it back. I thought I had backups and I could just put it back to exactly the way it was by importing the old uh, profiles. Well, I had forgotten about the scene collections. I mean, I knew I had to have known about them in 2016 when I set this up because, you know, I set it up and I know I had some backups of it, but or I thought I did. Maybe I never ever backed up the scene collections because <clears throat> I didn't see it and realize. Because I didn't, you know, have a bunch of them in there before. I did that recently. Uh, I think I did have two in there, though. Oh, I had that in title, which is blank. I never edited it. And then I had the one I made. Uh-oh, which one was I on? Oh, I was on eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, now, so now I don't have any more Cam 2. So that, <laughs> I'm going to hope... You know, see if that makes a difference. But here's the way. Okay, now here's the way it was. And this is when it started crashing after I added Audio Cam 2 to every. And the way I did that, and it's all the same name. Uh, those other ones, if you happen to notice, they all were different names. The ones I deleted. Now, when you do it manually, put them in manually by going here and saying, you know, add a scene. It won't. And you say VLC uh, video source and then make it actually an audio source. That never was the problem, but you could not, uh, I would say, create new, and you couldn't give them the same name of the one that's already there. It wouldn't let you. But if you go here and right-click and copy, and then you can go to the next one and paste, and I've already done that, and that's how I did it. You can paste it in, and not only does it let you, but it works. It works perfectly on the recording. So... <clears throat> that is, though, why I thought, well, maybe that is what broke it, you know, uh, the streaming. Maybe it works on recording so, for some reason, but not on streaming. Maybe something to do with, you know, well, I, YouTube doesn't see all that. All it sees is your stream, so I, it really makes no sense to think that that would break the streaming. If it would record, if any of this will work in the recording, it should work in streaming. And in my, and everything I can understand. But I'm just going to look to see if there's any more that says, you know, audio. Oh, B oh, that's the one that's just named VLC Video Source, a 10-inch tablet. That should be named 10-inch tablet. That one was really throwing me off. I'm not going to bother with that right now, but maybe I'll remember it later. <laughs> uh Yeah, you can just rename it. That was the default name is what it was. And it's the only one I left on the default name. Well, except for those video capture device VL2. I didn't change those. Yeah, and those are all, uh, probably because I copied them and pasted them in there. They're all the same name. Then the camera, see, I started to run out of names, so I started just using the IP address. But you can only do that so many times, one time, actually. I guess unless you copy and paste. But, uh, <clears throat> so anyway. So I've done that. I'm back on uh, number eight there. I went ahead and left the number so I could tell them apart e easily. So I'm going to uh, exit VLC, uh, OBS. Let's go back over here and check our, see if we're still making a good video. Looks like it. And yeah, it looks, well, it's, it doesn't move very fast. Actually, I've got my <coughs> bit rate so low. And I did, what I did is I select, there was a pre select for, YouTube, but I don't think it was for YouTube streaming. Yeah, there. You go. But anyway, it's it's the file. I mean, the, the videos look good, but they're they're really small, which is nice actually, uh, as long as it looks good. But uh, <clears throat> OBS. Okay, yeah, OBS is down. Doesn't take long for it to shut down, whether you shut it down or whether it crashes. A lot of apps take a while, like Firefox and some of them. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, there's one thing that would be, let's see. 
that okay that's on the title so yeah i will skip i won't go on desktop if it does work if i do i think going on desktop will cause a conflict between the desktop recording app i'm already using but let's start hit start stream now i think it's going to crash do you want to start the stream yes now it should have already started yeah it would instantly start recording just about as quick as you can look back over there so see how that didn't do anything but I didn't lose any work because I have uh, uh, keyboard didn't respond for a minute there. I guess it was OB. There's a shell script that's that's uh, oh no, well, it went away. Oh. That's probably part of the bug reporting. I bet you that just—I never saw that before. Oh, now I could look in the report. Well, it's gone now. Oh well. <clears throat> um. Yeah, the the bug the, the bug reporting would be uh, running under root. Don't click cancel recording. That deletes your recording. You got to hit save recording when you're done. Okay, that looks okay. <clears throat> now. Let's see how long we've been going. Somewhere in here it tells you. Right there, 31 minutes. <clears throat> okay. And we'll open up OBS. This is the first time I've got to make a video of certain these parts. You can make a video of OBS to, you know, to actually most of its functions. You can do change a lot of the settings. And at least in these more recent versions, in the earlier versions, uh, it would uh, cause it to use up all your memory and lock up your machine if you started messing with the settings <clears> or <throat> moving things around like you can move things up and down and do things like that if you do really anything it would mess up it doesn't now but once in a while it will though so that's of no use so <coughs> since I have my uh, settings and everything backed up The only thing else I can I can imagine to do is just try uninstalling OBS. I was looking at my notes. <clears throat> uh, I've looked, checked earlier today for you know make sure OBS was up up to date. Um, I make sure that all you know the whole system was up to date. And I have auto. I couldn't remember if I ever turned on auto updates, but I did, and it's been it's running and also ran updates manually. I actually ended up fixing a problem I had with I had forgotten about I had uh, Oracle Oracle VM virtual box <coughs> <coughs> and uh, it couldn't update because it had a it was a there's a kind of an add-on for it um, called guest editions it had a conflict with the new version of uh, VirtualBox, actually the one called the the part of it that says VirtualBox Server. So I <coughs> uninstalled Guest Editions. <coughs> as soon as I got done with my cough drop, I'm already coughing again. <coughs> Dang it! So uh, anyway, I uh, uninstalled that Guest Editions, and uh, then I was able to run that updating update VirtualBox. So maybe it'll be better. It didn't help any of my boot errors, though. I noticed that. <clears throat> but I thought it did at first. Okay, so now I want to get out of here. Yeah, I won't be losing anything. I don't have any. I didn't just, you can also have scripts. <laughs> Auto configuration wizard, audio, automatic scene switcher. I don't know what that does. Output timer. I've never used it. I don't know what that does either. Scripts. I got things going the way I wanted them, and I quit <laughs> learning <laughs> because uh, I don't want to mess with all that. Um, it's just the most fantastic program. There is so much you can do with it. It is professional level, uh, you know, screencasting and recording software. It does both, one, one or the other, or both at the same time, except for when it's broke. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to uninstall it. Where are my... Well, I guess they're in there. Well, I sure would hate to lose my titles and all that. 
I was just now thinking, let's go over here because I might, he might be in the program folder. There's not a dot OBS folder, evidently. Okay, let's go to, well, let's get in alphabetical order so I can see it. Oh, I've got it in there twice now. There we go. Sometimes it's in con, that kind of stuff is in config. Yep, there it is. Basic profiles. Oh, looky there. Now, some of those might be. Oh, yeah, there's some automatic backups. Oh, good. And, you know, that might be where I have some of the. the one, let's see, how old are they? 125? No. I don't think we'd have anything. It says 12, 13, 18, but it's, it's modified date is 119. So yeah, oh, that's empty anyway. That one's got stuff in it. 125, 19. That's just the other day. 126, 19. So yeah, it doesn't go back very far. Logs. Oh, that's where the OBS logs are. Might want to look at those. <clears throat> the global INI. I had not thought to look in there. Things to look like it's working. Yep. Okay. Now, what did I say? Oh, logs. Well, before I go any further, I'm going to copy that over there. OBS. Copy. Dot config. Yeah, because some of that might actually be needed to get me back <clears throat> without having to... The last thing I want to do is, like, lose my... I don't know where those... Um, I would think there might be some text files associated with my titles and stuff. I don't know what those are. Let's see. Just saw how big they were. CSV file. Well, all it did was just un unpack it and show a CSV file. Well, I don't really want to look at the CSV file. <coughs> let's look at the log. So let's see. I've got it. Oh, let's organize it. Newest on top. 129.19. There we go. See, so we can view it in here. <coughs> okay. I'm just looking through everything, seeing if I see anything that says failed or error. Or I want to kind of look through it because I'm, I, I, I've never seen this particular log before. I've seen the logs mixed in with all the others, and it's so much stuff I can't really make sense out of any of it. Oh, let's see. Oh, no black magic support. Yeah, I don't have a black magic card, so there wouldn't be anything there. I saw no such file, and that was kind of thing I was seeing. <clears throat> okay, VLC found, VLC video source enabled, text, okay, 
doesn't seem to be anything wrong with any of that. All seen data cleared. V4L2 input enabled to open device. Initialization failed. <clears throat> That would be, uh, well, yeah, because I don't have the, the uh, USB camera plugged in. Okay, so that's not a, <coughs> shouldn't be a problem. I, ne I don't ever plug it in unless I want to use it. Now, there's one of my intro music files, intro or exit. That's probably the intro one. Speed looping. And then here's the other one. I'm guess I don't know, I'm guessing that, you know, the, First one I on the top of this scenes is the, the the intro and then the second one is the exit. It could be the opposite. I don't remember the names of them. You know, very similar. <coughs> They're just uh, distinguished by the date on the end. Actually, two o three. Oh, number two three o two o six. Number three three o four o six. Same date. So that's number two and that's number three. <coughs> that doesn't mean that's you know. The order I used them in. Just the names I gave them when I made the files. Oh, it seems. <sighs> Here's the text. Text F2. FT2 source. I don't know where those, if those are some actual text files somewhere or if it's just stored like in those CSV files or an XML file. XSHM. Oh, that's the screen capture. I'd hate to, well, I mean, those, well, those are not quick to make. That's the thing. Cam, cam one stream, video, cam two. It's not super long, that's why another reason why I'm going ahead and going through it. <clears throat> Heading 23 milliseconds, solio buffering now 23 milliseconds. Now it's for 46 milliseconds. Hmm, I don't know. I didn't think I had any. That says buffering, it doesn't say delay. I guess that's buffering usually means it's cash caching it, you know, to uh, so that it won't get behind on the stream. <clears throat> Pulse input stop recording from ALSA output PCI analog stereo monitor. Got packets. <coughs> USB. Oh, that's the USB. Uh, that's the USB sound card. C media USB headphone and analog mono input. <coughs> Got so many packets. Okay, freeing OBS context data. Some of that looks like maybe stuff that's just there in the program, but it's not, you know, may or may not be even used, like Jack. I'm not using Jack audio, so. Text free type 2, I think that's the, the uh, font free type 2. That's my text. <coughs> Create hotkeys.
audio thread, previous graphics thread, tick switches. <clears throat> Between calls, so yeah, I see absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I'll, I'll just now. The word error is not in there. Failed initialization is in there. Video for Linux, yeah, and I know why because I don't have the camera plugged in. <clears throat> it's only in there once. Okay, so. And I, it doesn't have a, well, let's see. Let's look at this one now. I want to see if uh, there's it says anything when it crashed. That's going to probably be pretty much the same like the other log because I didn't change that much. Okay, so <clears throat> that... I'm afraid I'll forget where that goes. Oh, what'd you do? Well, it'll be alright. I can just write it in. I cannot seem to get things right here. Home done config. OBS Studio. I'm trying to write it in a way that will help me know you can't do forward slashes. Well, I mean, I could if I wanted to make a bunch of folders, but I don't want to do that. Home Don Config OBS Studio. There. Okay. <clears throat> it's actually dot config, but I don't want to put a dot in there. <clears throat> that really screws things up when you do that. Okay. Excuse certain viewers up and everything okay um the only other thing i can imagine is let's see user share i don't know why i didn't think about going into any of these folders obs studio things locale license Now, all this is probably backed up. Text. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's not my text, is it? <clears throat> I guess we can look. Uh-uh. I didn't think it would be. Okay. services so and so so and so so and so okay <clears throat> that's part of the program and i'm not sure a lot of programs can be there can be folders for these programs in all kinds of places or other files oh bin yeah there's a file some sort of file so trying to do this any of this manually yeah, that's a that's a program part of the program see that's in the coded a coded file so uh, it can't be read normally you can read it with a with an IDE might be C plus or something C plus plus or something like that if it's Python or something you can read it with a text you know viewer so uh, Yeah, I'm still really surprised. That, well, I'm not surprised now, but I am surprised that it's so much smaller because it's an FLV and everything, but the difference is the bit rate is... Uh, I didn't even really realize it until... Oh, it kind of uh, changes. You just saw it go to 203, but it uh, the bit rate 
<clears throat> that I've been was quoting it before was twenty five hundred, and then I changed it to four thousand because first I did three thousand, then I did four thousand. But uh, YouTube now says they want between three thousand and six thousand bits per second, or kilobits per second, actually not bits per second. Right there shows you kilobits. For uh, actually, YouTube might have been measuring it in bits. Looks like it would have been less in bits, though, not more. Anyway. <coughs> <laughs> uh, that's what they uh, said they wanted you you know that was the minimum 3,000 was what you could stream in so uh, <clears throat> okay I'm going to quit <clears throat> I think I'll just open up DNF right here it's not really going to since I've got my streaming app over there alright now I'm going to quit uh, yeah I'm going to open up DNF Or drag or a, <clears throat> which works runs DNF. Those other apps I have can do it, but they don't work very well anymore. Uh, Apper used to be the default for Fedora back when they used Yum, and there's another one I have in here. I don't know where you go to see it, but it's called Software, and they'll both work, but they're not fully functional anymore. <clears throat> But uh, let DNF finish refreshing the uh, repo list, and that's what it's doing. That's why it takes so long. Which you know, that's good that uh, it does that first, because then you don't search old data by accident. Well, one my actually my probably my favorite. What used to be my favorite package manager was uh, was actually for the Bane. But back in the earlier you know, when I got in uh, for, uh, Linux in for 2005, it was Fedora 5 and uh, Snaptic. I discovered, well, I discovered two things. I discovered, I didn't know the difference between a DEB and the RPM or what was going on. To me, Linux was Linux, just like Windows was Windows, you know, except for there was one, you, you know, 3.198 and XP, and I had switched from XP to Fedora. And uh, <clears throat> so um, I saw... So man, I would just search and search the. It was a great, you know, Apper was the one. It was wonderful. You could just find anything and everything. And I would search and see, and I found uh, some were Debs and some were RPM files. And that's the file extension for. But well, the Debs are meant for Debane, and RPMs are meant for RPM-based distros, Fedora, and other ones like that. And but I saw something that said you, it'll make it so that you can run Debs on you know RPM based distro. I started figuring that out, and I thought, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna do that. So anyway, I, I installed along the way. I installed Synaptic Package Manager, which is was meant for uh, Debane, but it worked back then perfectly on uh, Fedora. Once in a while there was a glitch, but it had so many features that Apper didn't have, and I used it for years and years until it got to where it just wouldn't work anymore. And uh, <clears throat> then I had to start using uh, Apper, and then I started because Apper I didn't like it that much either. It wasn't as bad as uh, Dragora, but it was not near as good. You're searching, you could search two or three words in, in uh, Synaptic, and it, <clears throat> it would treat it as a phrase instead of a uh, and. and <coughs> <coughs> you know, so and so and so and so and so and so. Sorry. I guess I've talked much longer than I realize. All right. Oh, you can't hit enter. Never seen an application where you can't hit enter to make it activate. Hardly ever. And this one's one of them now. So anyway, um, I think you can. Well, last time I checked, you can still install Synaptic, but it won't really work. <clears throat> well, maybe it won't. Maybe the reason it did work is because I installed those helper apps to make. <clears throat> those he Deb apps, helper Deb helper apps, <laughs> I might be with the whole thing. But anyway, I quit using it because it it did allow you to install things that would end up not running, and it's real hard to get them out of there and clean and clean things up. Like I just kind of showed a short example of. Is that going to search or not? What happened here? It's like it's not doing anything at all. Oh, I guess it actually went so fast that I didn't notice it was done. Yep. There it is. And I, I knew OBS, I mean, should find it. 
So uh, there used to be a real easy way to sort them by like installed and not, you know, and available and so on. So I just put it on all because then it takes forever to, when you do switch those, it takes forever to regroup it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uninstall OBS. I'll just have to kind of manually go through here. That's actually not that much in here. And uh, I've already looked to see if maybe there was something that I could add that was missing or any of that earlier today. And uh, <coughs> something I don't remember seeing. Well, I did add to the repos, I had testing. Everything testing, you know, RPM Fusion and Fedora. So there may be some more stuff in here now that there needs to be. So there's only two packages to uninstall. <coughs> so I hit apply. And uh, it should come up with a message saying this is what's going to be taken out. What do you, do you want to do it? And then I'm just going to go right back and try to install it again and see. I might go to the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll go to the uh, OBS page and use the, we'll see. Uh, since uh, <clears throat> Dragora is sometimes really tricky because it doesn't always find everything. It depends on, see, there's like four different, there we go. Oh, it's going to uninstall FFmpeg. I guess it's that particular version. I don't know what that one is. It's not saying. Used to it always tell you whether or not this stuff could be working with other applications. <clears throat> it's not doing that. But I definitely want to know that. So I'm doing a screenshot of that. I might have to. Boy, I sure hate to. Can't copy that in any way. You know, like I would like to have that in a text file. You could used to could do that too. It used to be in a text format, and you could do that. It was just kind of like a terminal output. Now it's sort of a whatever it is, <clears throat> something fancier. Okay, so. I'm going to take another <coughs> screenshot to make darn sure I got that. But OBS Studio and OBS Studio Libs is all I selected, but see, it's going to get rid of Embed, TLS, FFmpeg, and X264 encoder. <coughs> so hopefully they will all go back without any trouble when I reinstall it. Get a new root password. Really would hate to get it to where some of the other applications didn't work. Ooh. I think this is using FFmpeg right now. But maybe it has another. Maybe the, you have more than one installation of FFmpeg. Well, let's just see if this thing breaks during this, though. <coughs> I kind of want to watch this, and I kind of want, well, you can't, there's nothing to watch over here. It's just going to keep going until it's done. There might, there's not much. Sometimes you see the blue bar go by, and it'll change what it says a little bit, but not really anything. It's like, you no, know, it doesn't give you a terminal readout like uh, all the other ones did. You could, you could open up, you could click a little drop-down list, and you could see the terminal readout and see exactly what was happening as it was happening. Didn't do that. So, uh, yeah, surely it was not. Uh, I don't know. You can't. You used to could trust that it would tell you if it was going to do something that would harm another application, but now I'm not so sure. If it could uninstall FFmpeg while it's being used here and break this, <clears throat> I don't know which way. I guess I'll just keep flipping back and forth. Yeah, see, it is telling you. Okay, there it is. It's telling you. Oh, there we go. <coughs> okay, FFmpeg. It tells you more than I thought. I'm just usually not patient enough to watch, <coughs> like just now. So, uh, let's 
it's still recording. <clears throat> and it's very slow. <clears throat> it's saying five of five, though. There it went. Let's go over here. Uh, didn't break it, so I, it must have its own little install of FF MPEG. That's all I can figure. Some of these things like that, I get maybe FF MPEG's kind. I don't. It's not like Java, but kind of you know like Java. You can have all the different versions of Java installed on your system at the same time. <coughs> FF MPEG may just instead of like being a global system install, it just it's, they just they put it in a folder. With the app that it's working for, with and for, and uh, actually, I think I've seen, yeah, I think I've seen instructions on how to add FFmpeg like to a browser add-on, and basically it tells you to go put it in that folder. So, and I kept thinking, well, I've already got it on my system. I don't want conflicting versions, you know. <coughs> now I don't know if it's done or not. If I guess if you'd pay more attention, it's you can say quit now and you can't say apply, but that don't mean anything yet. <coughs> Looks like it's all gone. What I'm going to do is, well, let's see. Oh, I need. I think to be safe, I'm going to reboot the system. Yeah, because make sure that there, if there was anything that needed to be cleaned on reboot, you never know for sure, and it doesn't. Well, if it's real important, it'll tell you. But <clears throat> yeah, I, just to be safe, that I want it gone, and then I'm going to put it in fresh and clean. I don't think there will be, I don't want any left behind files. There could be files that are left behind that are broken. I could go and do, uh, let's go over here. Let's see. What's it called? There's, yeah, FS Lint. That's not the one. It might do it, <coughs> but there's another one that uh, is real good at, <coughs> never can remember its name. But uh, it's the one I always use for cleaning up <coughs> system. <coughs> I think it's done, but I'm not going to close it just yet. I want to make darn sure it's done. Um, Sixty-seven, two ninety-one. <clears throat> well, there's nothing over there. <clears throat> well, that's OBS build. Oh, that's generic package build script. There's some other things called OBS. There's OBS Studio. There's three of them. I don't know which one is the newest one, unless I go over here. 22, 21, 21. Okay, yeah, so that's the newest one. <clears throat> but you might be able to just immediately reinstall without even closing DNF, but I'm not going to take that chance. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the cleaning app. <clears throat> Let's see if there's... I might find it by just going through here. I was thinking it had an icon of a broom, but I, maybe it's not the one. <coughs> and I'm not 100% sure I even have it on this system. So, I ended up with some apps, I think, on here that I've never even tried before because... Some of them I've seen before but never really tried <clears throat> because uh, I used all those different groups installed. But I also, the last time I installed an, uh, another set of groups, I ended up with some boot problems that I haven't been able to fix and I'm going to have to reinstall. Well, I'm going <coughs> to uh, upgrade it to Fedora. Well, I think I'm going to upgrade it to Fedora 29 unless it uh, <coughs> ends up having problems to see what oh I think I saw oh yeah I was looking for fixes for OBS and I saw somebody was having some 
think they were having the same problem on Fedora 29. I've heard some kind of problem on Fedora 29 that I, that I haven't been having. I can't remember what it was. I think it was with OBS. <coughs> Test lint. And uh, you'd think it would be in a system utilities, but it's there. I don't see it. It's a cleaning app that uh, see. I have a few IDEs on here. Eclipse, Emacs. No, Emacs just a text editor. I used to have more. <coughs> I'm a, well, I do. I'm a Fedora 14 system. Raw log viewer. That's one I hadn't seen. I wonder if it's any better than the other two that I've been looking at. Sometimes some of the some apps don't show up in the search in the XFCE search app finder search. Uh, it depends on well, the, well, number one, the name of the app, but number two, the whether whether it puts anything in like the key, kind of the keyword section. Oh, the raw log viewer crashed. Okay, so there's one that doesn't even work. <coughs> oh, but it's running. Oh, that's the problem reporting. Oh. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I wonder if that's that new one I installed that won't can't work. Could be the one that uh, has those errors, the SC Linux errors. Yeah, I bet it is. It wouldn't be in the graphics. <coughs> Quite a bit of electronic stuff. That electronics group really installed some cool stuff. And a lot of it I've never tried. Fritzing is on there. I remember when that came out, and I was all interested in trying it, but it, I don't think it would run on the system I had at the time. <coughs> I'm thinking I may not have that app. I don't think I do. And I can't think of the name of it. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I might think it might pop into my head. It's usually not necessary to use a cleaner to clean up behind uninstalls. They usually work right in Fedora. It's not like Windows where all the applications are sneakily written to try to keep themselves hide themselves in there and even take over you know, certain parts parts of your system, you know, like, like Norton software, you know. <clears throat> but um, let's see. Yeah, I'm sure that's done now, so I'm going to quit it. And uh, I am going to stop this video, and then I'll reboot the system just to make sure that if there was anything needed to be deleted on reboot, it will get done <clears throat> and uh, then I'll reinstall OBS and I'm debating about whether I'll go back in there and just install it on DNA I think I'll go look at the instructions on the OBS website and uh, make sure that there's not some special little thing that I'm missing by just going into oh you know uh, DNF and doing it all right so uh, I'll come back whenever I get ready to reinstall it.